Grace and Beast Black Family. Thank you, Dilda, coming to you very quickly uh, with the quick um, uh, hospital chronicles, let's call it, while I'm on my healing journey. I'm sure you've been watching the presidential debates. Fascinating last night hearing Marion Williamson. Um, she is known as uh, one of Oprah Winfrey's spiritual gurus um, that is a presidential uh, candidate. And she's been talking about reparations, of course, that's important, though her numbers that she throws out are completely arbitrary and completely and totally insufficient. And frankly, even her talking about reparations is a political calculation. And um, she says also she doesn't really agree that um, a, a large number of people in America is racist, and she just thinks that a lot of them are just uneducated. Um, I disagree with much of that, and I do think that she um, is a tool uh, to be used just so... Um, that the subject can get out there and so that it can somewhat appease black people so that we'll still come out and vote because they're talking about reparations. So there's some trick knowledge going on in that. Nevertheless, it can still be useful in some ways for the black agenda to continue to push the demand for reparations, which, of course, reparations is a debt that's owed. It's not a good idea. It's not charity. It's not ideology. It's about services rendered to this country for free for hundreds of years. And it is about whether or not America is going to continue to be a thief. That's what it's about. It's about theft. With that being said, she said a phrase um, yesterday during the debate that's interesting. She talked about how Donald Trump um, is basically bringing up a dark psychic force here in America. Think about that phrase, a dark psychic force. And I want to let you all know that the reason she's using spiritual language, and there's nobody more spiritual than the black man and the black woman. Y'all you you know I say this all the time. We have to be both physical and metaphysical in terms of the deliverance for black people because our experience is unlike anybody else's. And when you're the mothers and fathers of civilization, when you got the whole globe world started, your life is not like everybody else. So it is a must that we... Um, understand the inter, uh, interconnection between the physical and the metaphysical, which is to say the natural and the spiritual. She recognizes that there's something spiritual going on, and by her invoking a dark psychic force that she's blaming on Trump, no, America has been racist since day one. It's the impolite racism that's a problem, and him stirring it up is uh, uh, causing white folk to take off the mask of white civility to be their real selves. And many of them are afraid to look at themselves because they know that it comes off as extraordinarily diabolical, it is ugly, and it is deadly. But it has to be talked about. What am I saying? Marion Williamson is concerned about the doom of America. And that's why she's begging some white folks to deal with uh, what hasn't been dealt with with racism. And though her agenda is completely uh, insufficient, though her position is completely inadequate, and yes, there is a political calculation with this woman. I'm not going to give her more credit than I would anybody else, except to say that the subject is out there and that we need to take the narrative and continue to run with it because they're listening to us in the first place. The doom of America, some white folks are concerned about it, which they should, because they have not done right by us. They have refused to cease and desist, and they refuse to give us reparations. Stay tuned for more family. Make sure that you subscribe to FindLoopingQueen.com. Make sure you text the word Queens to 3199. Uh, uh, text the word Queens to 31996. And I'm Vicki Dillard. Can't wait to connect with you soon.